The boys are back. <laughs> the boys are rolling. Okay. You like that, Jake? I love it. Is that your pregame style? Yeah, no, not at all. Oh, actually. Okay. <laughs> What's I the pregame it. music? What it's, is it? It's very, like, soft, like, like oldies, 60s, 70s music. No way. Stevie Wonder, Lionel Richie, just yeah, oh, bro, good calm vibes. down. But boys then, to like, men. Boys to men, love songs. But, like, right before the game is when it, like, Amp it up a little Amp bit. Up you get up to like bit. what? But like you like two like Imagine Dragons or like what do you? Get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. People, crazy. Don't, people don't realize like you you really got to build up. Like you can't be getting you can't too, be too hyped, hyped like at uh, nine a.m. because then you have a headache by like mid like noon and your heart rate's and been going. Yeah, you're, you're, you're tired. Yeah, like no, you, you got to build up to it. You yeah. only make that mistake once. Yeah, so, so, true. yeah. so true. Rip ripping pre workout in pre game and you're crashing the in between the first and second quarter that happened. Happened to me a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you can't do that. Oh, dude, why? Why does the like game day? I swear, like, is so long, but like, there's so many things to do. Yeah, leading up to like um, dialing in the swag, like the ibuprofen, the caffeine. Like, it's just like sometimes I forget the ibuprofen, and it's the worst. It's yeah, the you worst. have the <laughs> the the pre medication is the key. Yeah, I, if you medicate when it hurts, you're too late. That's <laughs> what they say. Right. All about um, rehab, yeah. Also, I I missed the beanie memo. I didn't know I was supposed to wear. Oh, dude, Spooktober. Uh, this is spooky season. It's October. It's October second, <laughs> dude. That's a good question. So it's getting cold. If you haven't already seen the episode with Chase, you need to go back and watch the intro episode with Chase, where we kind of do a little bit more get to know you. Yeah. This we're gonna talk about a couple other things. It's October, Spooktober. What's your like? I know you got a uh, you've got a huge fangirl club. No, so no, what no. what's the the Chase Roberts special on like a Friday? I guess a maybe like a like a, like a go to October like a date. Yeah. date like like it's a bye week. So like kay. Friday night, Saturday night. What's Chase Roberts gonna be doing? <laughs> football like football season's really like low low key. There's no going out. Honestly, like yeah. it's been really the past two months have been pretty chill. And if I do like something, it's with like the boys, like for sure, we'll chill, go hot tub, or like go out to Canes. Yeah, you know that's like my late night, like have some fun, like kind of. But really, that Spooktober's, yeah, it's more of a well, lame tober. I feel that because like you're so exhausted from ball, like the exactly. last thing you want to do is go put on this massive production for a girl. Yeah, like <laughs> like. If you're listening, ladies, if you want to go after Chase Roberts, be low key, be low maintenance. Okay. I mean, that's what you need. Like, you just kind of want to come home, rip a little skinny pop, throw on the Netflix. Like, <laughs> is that too hard to ask? You know what I'm saying? That's true. But, like, that's but there's true. a time and a place, though, because sometimes, you yeah. know, a weekend comes around, you got an off day, like, you kind of want to get, you want to go out. Yeah. Right? Exactly. But I feel that, dude. Like, just for the most part, yeah, you. You're exhausted. Want to chill, <laughs> yeah. Chill. And it's hard because, like, when you do take a girl out, you want to be, you know, you want to be a gentleman. Want to be gentleman. You want to like do stuff for her, and make yeah. it make it cute. But it's it's, it's takes a lot of effort. Ball. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> when you're balling, it's just yeah, it's hard. But these married boys don't understand that. No, it's he's just, yeah. It's just mellow. We no. what happened to us, Chase? We missed the memo. <laughs> I know. Hey, no <laughs> I need I need Chase off the market so the It'll girls can look my way. Uh, that's, 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 yeah. I'm I'm in the fan club. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my wife sent me a video today of during the game. They were going around. I'm sure you saw it. It was like <laughs> your BYU celebrity crush. So and dope. it was every girl is Chase Roberts, Chase Roberts, Chase yeah. Roberts. No, dude, the, Come on. the funniest part is like I'll be in like warm ups. I'll look up in the crowd and like there's like number two, marry me, and I'm like, <laughs> hey, you know who number two <laughs> that like, is? That's you. Man. I'm like, I'm the man. And then I, like, it clicks. I'm like. Oh, they're not talking about me. <laughs> yeah, that's bull crap. That's bull crap. Uh, it happened one time last year when you were 27. So I'm, I'll just I'll ride that off into the sunset. You know, at least somebody go. made a somebody made a poster talking about number two. And yeah, there you go. That's got to feel good though. Does that not feel good? <laughs> I mean, kinda, I don't. It's pay attention. Chill. I'm focused on football for Come sure. On. For sure. <laughs> no, but like you know, they it went through funny. the time to make a poster. Yeah, Maybe no. After I feel the game, go get a picture. Say, of hey, course. Your, your yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, I know you do. No, I love it. Yeah. Chivalrous guy. Gross. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, while we're on the topic of a game, not really much on the topic, but um, yeah. <laughs> last game, played pretty well. Thank you. Played very well. Thank you. Um, what are your thoughts on the game? Um, I mean, a win is awesome. We always love getting a win. Um, offense obviously struggled the first half. Uh, we got it going right, right at the end, like right before halftime. But the first half was rough. I mean, we think we had two passing yards, maybe seven. Was it like, like, but why is it rough like though? Like, is it just like 
they're they're it's, stunting the defense so like the we can't like, get the blocking right yeah figuring everything out we're kind of like I don't know because we didn't really know what they were gonna do like Cincinnati if they were gonna stack the box or if they were just gonna let us run like, kind of okay. play more zone so I think just figuring everything out at the beginning and then once we started talking to the coaches and talking to um, Keaton. And like what they were like their tendencies, they were jumping outside and we were trying to run more routes that we're trying to get outside or trying to yeah. sit in that zone where we started slipping stuff in. And then that's when we started hitting like right at the end of the half and it kind of opened up and then we kind of went like ran with it the second half and right. started scoring points. You guys ripped down. What was it? 36 seconds. You guys got the ball with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like four, four passes. Bro, sometimes that's the, like, that's all it takes, the spark, where it's just like, okay, there's spark. no, like, there's no expectations here. We got 30 seconds. Let's just sling this thing. And yeah. that's like, you know. Well, we're something. trying, yeah, we were trying to run the ball to open up the pass game, right? But when right. it came to a point where we could only pass, like, we literally had 30 seconds to go score. Like, we can only pass. Right. And that's when we started, okay, let's just pass. Let's just do it. Let's go down the field, be aggressive. And that's when it started. Okay, it clicked. Like, this, that's what we need to do. So, right. Yeah. So, what uh, what's it like? Like, what's your favorite part of the game? Does that make any sense? Like for me, yeah. like I love like the atmosphere. Like, uh-huh. like I love football. Don't get me wrong, but like playing in an empty stadium is not. I don't oh. love that as much. Like, I love the fans. Like, what is it for you? Oh, it's the, yeah, the build up, everything. Like, especially at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, mm-hmm. being in the Big Twelve now, it's it's a different feel. Uh, we've had some crazy games in the past, but like being in a conference and having teams come like that are in your conference, right? It's more, it's just different. Like it's yeah. special, and the the fans know, the players know, and the whole like everything's the feeling is just I don't know. There's more into it, and it was pretty cool to have our first home game in the Big Twelve, packed crowd. I think it was the biggest. Yeah. You know, and like the some most years. attendance since two thousand nine or something like that when right when we were when they were dicing up then. But uh, so that was pretty special, and to come out with a win was just amazing. Well, dude, talking about you, like going back, like I don't know, he had the burners like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah right, like that one. <laughs> like I, I always knew you were stubbed. I was like, dang, like you are pulling away. Like when did <laughs> when did the mission legs? Fall off. <laughs> the mission Honest, legs, okay, bro. but an underrated play was that stiff arm you had going across. That was disgusting. Thank like you. I was, you know, I was, I was in street clothes, looking right at. It. I was like, this is absolutely cold. So like, were you were you anything different this off season? I mean, a lot of the training that we did, like we ran yeah, we a did. lot of different lifting, more explosive. Like, were you I doing th- a lot of stuff outside of? Honestly, BYU? honestly, no. Like okay. I was sticking to like Skyler and like the guys that we hired. Nice. Like, I was like, I'm going to buy into what you do. Like, I trust you guys. Like, I'm just going to do what you guys are doing and then recover. Like, when we're not doing the things that you told me to do, like, as a team. So, I just bought in and kind of went full speed in those drills and the sleds that we did every other day. And honestly, I feel a lot better. I feel like even last season, I was a little, like, a step behind. Yeah. I still made some plays, but still felt like I couldn't break away or have yeah. those, like, yards after catch. Um Whereas is this year feel a lot better and it's like game to game like the Kansas game my legs felt like heavy and it was hot and yeah. dude but this game I felt yeah I felt good it felt it felt nice Kansas you know, was crazy that, that was dude was it was hot like I fourth changed, quarter bro I changed three different times before the game started because <laughs> and, and I didn't wet, play huh? like that's just from warm ups I didn't <laughs> I, I ran down on kickoff three times like that was it Cause <laughs> I had tights on after we warmed up I had to take the tights off I, I was like claustrophobic like yeah. Yeah, it was bad. So I, don't I don't know how you that. felt. Were you just dying or were you chilling? You were fine. It was hot. It's, it's weird because, like, you try and copy and paste, like, your pregame routine week to week. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. like, yeah. I try not to have too many variables just because I, like, I know it works. But yeah. I was honestly feeling, like, like I did not feel good pregame. Yeah. I was just like, no, I'm just going to go out there and, like, whatever. Just go. Like, that's like kind I'm, of sometimes that was, better. Yeah, honestly. I was like, that was one of my better games. Yeah. So. Dude, who was the hardest corner you played? Like, was Cincy pretty sticky? Like, like they this, were this been... year. Let's say your whole career. Who was the best like corner you played? Yeah, and then let's talk this year as well. Okay, so the best corner that I faced was 
actually my freshman year last year. Okay. Uh, we went to Oregon, and the atmosphere already was just like it felt oh, weird, bro. It felt like, <laughs> and you, yeah, you, you were remember. In hell. Yeah, it was <laughs> honestly though, like it was. Dude, it felt like prison. It was, yeah, different. People underestimate me, dude. Ots, Ots, Ots is, is like that's toxic. Yeah. Oh yeah, You're looking up like they're screaming, and just the feeling you have is just not peaceful. Yeah, like as you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's bad. But we played. We played this dude. He's a dog. His name's Christian Gonzalez. He's first rounder, probably I think the eighth five. overall pick oh, in the raw. NFL draft. That dude, yeah, he it was it was uh, definitely a learning experience for me. And it was when I think it was like the third or fourth quarter, and we were already down a fair amount. And I ran a little slant, and just it was like a run to the right side, and and then I just get decleated, <laughs> <laughs> and it was him, just kind of like right after the play was over, just decleated me, and that was definitely an eye-opening experience, just like, I got to step it up, if I'm going to like perform at this level, I got to be ready, you know, and these yeah. dudes, like, obviously it was a first round dude, right? but, you know, it's, it's I, have, I don't think I've faced someone like that this year that was just all over the place, just fast, quick, yeah. tall, he's like probably 6'3", yeah, um, but there's been some there's been some dogs this year that, um, you know, Arkansas they were tall, yeah. long, very physical. They were long. Yeah, they were really long, Jeez. and that's that's those are the guys that I think are the hardest to get off. When they have those long arms that just right. attach to you, and you're trying to get off, you're trying to touch them, and you aren't even touching them. Exactly. You're like to their elbows, and they're just catch it. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like Cincinnati they were they were a little bit shorter. You know, five mm. eleven dudes. Yeah. Um, to where it's a little easier to, to get their hands off and get into your route. But there were, there were some dogs. Well, that's just, like, how the NFL is, like, trending, right? You see, like, obviously Sauce, Christian yeah. Gonzalez, Jalen Ramsey. Like, they're all 6'2 guys, long. Yeah, guys, just right? long just and fast. Time, and, like, heavy, too. So, yeah. I always, I always laugh, like, when, when you're warming up and you look across and you can, like, see the <laughs> Cause other Because you team. always do, yeah. yeah. I'm always looking over there. I'm just, like, sizing them up. Like, okay, like, how big are these guys? Like, yeah. how big are the front seven? Exactly. But, like, I feel like I can get the best gauge of a team when I look at their DBs. Like, when their DBs are all long, they all, t- like, you know, inked up. Yeah, and, I'm and like, just yeah, these guys are wrong. wrong. Like, yeah. I'm like, I, we're going to be in for a treat today. So, it's no. funny you say that because that's what I've seen as well. It's true, yeah. Have you seen, we were watching the, when we were watching film on Cincinnati, they already played Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. They have some dudes who are, like, big. Yeah. They have some, their safeties, bro, are massive. Oh, yeah. Just, like, they're some tall dudes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's going to be so fun. It's so fun. Like, like, that's what you part. want, right? You want right. the, that's what makes it want fun. the dudes. Yeah, you want to oh. go against them. You want to get better, and you want to you want to learn and, and then show out against them. That's, like, bro. the biggest thing. If you can have a great game against the top players of the nation, then that's when you gain your confidence and start like, okay, right. like let's go. Yeah. Cause it's like, there's always like a, at least for me in the past, I don't know how you felt, but there was always like, there was like a next level. It's like, Oh, like being at Utah state was like, okay. Yeah. Like we're playing good, but like it's mountain West, you know what I'm saying? Like there was always a little bit of that, yeah. but like when you're in the big 12, bro, like no, that's as big as it gets. Every, I mean, yeah. you got sec that, you know, they can say they're bigger, but like at the end of the day, we played with sec teams. We got big 12 now. Like it's, this is as top tier college football as it gets. Like, oh, yeah, it's every game, and it's so fun, dude. Like in a perfect world, like what would you like? You've been right. This is your second or third year here, right? Uh, I know you registered after the Mish. Like, yep. in your minds, like what would be the perfect situation? Like you play four, uh-huh. go to the NFL. Like, like obviously, you know, you don't want to st- overdo your stay. Yeah, right? you want to maximize your opportunity. So. Have you put any thought to that? I'm curious. Yeah, I have. And and obviously it's day by day and it works out like yeah. how it does. But really playing this year and then having another year, I feel like ballin'. here at BYU, ball in. Um, and then if, if it all goes well, if I stay healthy, yeah. then I'll probably want to want to leave and take it to the next level. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, I feel like. After this year, even if I do have, like, a really good year after this year, I feel like I'd want to stay. Stay one more. Stay one more. Just, I love the atmosphere here sure. and the people that I've been meeting. Hopefully, I meet my wife <laughs> in the <laughs> next. Yep. Shooting go. fish in a barrel. <laughs> no, Shoot but, yeah. Barrel, so, yeah. another, yeah. So, this season and then another another season and then get ready to, to leave. 
I don't know what your plan is. I want to hear yours. If you're, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pickle, what's your plan, boys? I'm gonna pickle. Because I mean, yeah, it's just tough, dude. Like, hard. obviously, yeah, this was kind of like my last go around, right? Because I've been, I've been here a minute. You yeah, know? I've been here a minute, so it's just tough, dude. Like, I no decisions have been made, right? Um, my my surgery, like my my shoulder's not a season ender. Okay, obviously torn labrum. Yeah, um, and so like I could play on it for sure. Like, and, just, I, and, and I want to, and I'm gonna play the next eight games. Um, you're just kind of like you know. It's, you got to look at it from all different sorts of angles, right? Like your body's your highest commodity, right? Yeah. Are you going to, are you going to, you know, be a damaged asset, a damaged good, right? Or NFL team's going to look at you less because right? yeah, when you get the surgery, because then you, it's a three month recovery. Do you start that clock in December and then you get out the sling? You're running for the first time, March 1st, you have pro day, March 20th. Yeah. You know, then you're running a bad 40, putting a bad 40 out there, or do you go early, right? There's a bunch of stuff. And then you got to go look at the film, right? And be like, okay, have I done enough up until I'm this ready. point to be like a draft pick? Do, the, do, they, do, do they like me enough or do I have more to prove, yeah. right? So, dude, there's so many things to think about. Like, it's funny it's because you say staying healthy, right? And like, that's the biggest thing. Dude, you're healthy <laughs> until you're not. Yeah. Like, it's, like, <laughs> it's just true. like, bro, it just happens. Like, you're like, I'm yeah, and you think it's not going to happen. You're like, like, there's no way. Like, I no feel way. so good. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Boom. So frustrating. Knock on wood, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Knock on wood, bro. It's just part of the game. Yeah, it is. You got to deal with it. And I should. I should have played golf. Should have played chess. That's what you're talking about. Like, yeah, bro, that's swear. what my kids are doing: golf and chess. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> like, just be a freaking management consultant, guys. Yeah, like, just I mean, there's, there's more to life than just clanking your head. That's in. That's true too. Dude, it's yeah, a blessing and a curse, but yeah. dude, it's good, man. I honestly like. I, I just know, like, God's got a plan for it. Like, not trying yeah. to sound corny, but, like, no, that's what's kind of making me sleep at night. It's just, like, dude, whatever's going to happen, let's we'll just let it happen. Give so it to him, yeah. Just work hard day in, day out, and just trust whatever's going to happen. Love it's it. the only way. It really is. It really is. What's been your favorite catch in your career? Ooh. I, well, I mean, as a freshman at the Baylor game, like, being yeah. with Puka out and Gunner out, having that moment was, like, one of the most special moments, you know, I've had in my life. Yeah. You know, being able to to have that opportunity. I didn't even know before the season if I was going to get that many reps, you know. Right. And to be a starter that game against a top 10 team. Yeah. And to be able to have, you know, a catch right before half to give us the momentum. Like, that was, a, a, like, a surreal moment. And it was cool to be able to share my testimony after of, of Jesus Christ and kind of, People had eyes on me after that, right? Right. So being an influence that way of like, you know, having, uh, like sharing my message of, you know, yeah, I was on a mission and was able to come back and, and perform right. and um, just be able to share my story and have kids look at that and be like, okay, I want to serve a mission too. You know, athletes, young kids, whatever. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. So I think that was my favorite moment catch that, that I've had just you always been the spiritual um <laughs> i mean I obviously like you, the yeah, mission you, changes you yes. to be like a little more but i feel like even before yeah like, yeah you're always in tune with like i felt yeah, yeah that's cool yeah i've always wanted to glorify god and put kind of put him first because I, I feel like there's been so many blessings in my life that like he's he's using me for a reason right and he's blessing right. me with talents and um to to glorify him you know not just for my own you know, let's go have fun and play football. Like what, you know, like it's, there's, there's more meaning to life. There's more to why, you know, we have these different talents and abilities. And so I try to use that and work hard and get better to do that, you know, to be able to perform and then to glorify him. And so this cool. mic is oh, you're working, good. but you're good. Probably. Do you feel, does it ever put a pressure on you? Honestly, it's like the other way around to really? where I feel like if I was so focused on like making it the NFL and like that was the only thing, then it would be more pressure mm. to whereas like I'm doing this, at. like I'm doing this, I'm playing this game to, to glorify God, whatever happens, win or lose, like in my mind before games, like I'm still going to love you. Like I'm still going to glorify you. So it like yeah. relieves the pressure of like whatever happens, happens. Right. I think that's been like a key to like playing loose and playing just like going out and being like thoughtless with things and trusting in the training I've done because kind of, I just kind of given it over to, to God and whatever happens happens. And I've tried to put in the effort, you know, and, and then 
now just whatever happens, whatever. Yeah, dude, that's Soon dope. So I didn't even. So I didn't think so that's, that. that's helped me a lot just Mom, in I'm big over games. Here stressing. Like, yelling, screaming. <laughs> no, dude, that's super cool. No, we love it. So, you know, obviously talking about finding a girl and whatnot. <laughs> I always think I'm like, like when I'm done playing ball, like what am, what am I going to love doing? Like, yeah. what? Because yeah, like ball takes up so much of your time. We all have different hobbies, but it changes. Like when you're a dad, you definitely got to up the swag like just as far as dad hobbies like i'm always thinking like what's the coolest thing as a dad to do i mean like when you are a father and a husband like saturday morning before the kids are up like what do you want to be like what's a hobby that you would like to do (laughs) i want to hear yours (laughs) <laughs> maybe a- before yeah, or after well, okay, I would you're definitely gonna give my spiel absolutely yeah. he's thought a lot about it put a lot of thought <laughs> into this one so I mean the first thing that comes to mind has to be golf like if I'm a yes. if I'm a great golfer like that I've made it like that's, the rest of your life will fall life. into place <laughs> yeah exactly when your golf you could get any dialed, job you could when your like golf <laughs> game is dialed everything else in your life is dialed it's true you both are I, good too I'm sitting with two I don't know about golfers. that I'm alright I don't know if I'd say <laughs> you can never get too good at golf though. No, it's, it's true. So humbling. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst. Every time dude. you think you're good, <laughs> it's the worst. But I love the it. Sixty so just doesn't swing. You know. <laughs> oh nice my gosh. The next I got the bug this past this past summer. Okay. Yeah, yeah I got the I bug it too. And yeah, it's been on my mind ever since. Like I, I think I played more golf than I, I did football <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, past dude, summer. Though. No joke. Yeah. But <laughs> me, and, me and Ben crashed a cart. You crashed the car. We were, we were at Soldier Hollow ripping down the fairway, and it didn't have the, you know, usually it slows you down when you hit a certain speed. That thing was ripping? First <laughs> hole. We hit, we're driving down the fairway, and it's like later in the day, it's in the evening, and so ground's really dry, and we're just going so fast. And I'm like, keep waiting for the governor to kick in. Never kicks in. We're just coming up to my ball, <laughs> so I start hitting, like, you don't, you're either braking or you're not with a golf cart, right? There's no, like, slowly. So I just hit the brakes. Next thing I know, we just start spinning. And he hops out and I starts jump, running. I ship. I had to. And I, as soon <laughs> as he hops out and starts running, it just, boom, I'm in the air. <laughs> oh my. I hit the deck and just slide. But I've oh. watched enough videos of it going wrong that I knew, like, <clears throat> when the cart flips, you just got to stay, like, tucked. Keep all your Keep limbs, limbs tight. Yeah. You start reaching out trying to, like, save yourself. Oh, yeah, your snap, arm's snap. gone. Yeah, Everything's yeah, yeah. gone. So, yeah, that was I'm about. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we made it. Hey, we made we it. Made all right. It. Does this Soldier Hollow guy like know it? Know oh, no, about no. this? Nobody so knows. okay. So no. except for the people on the next hole. They, yeah. <laughs> they, they have show. They show. The cart's okay. Everything was After good. After I nearly yeah. hit him with We're my good. ball. Okay. Know, so. We hopped up. We we got rolling. Everything that's is good. good. Okay. Good times though. So so golf. All right. What? Yeah, I don't know if that's else? like no, what's a great looking answer. for. That's an amazing answer. Um, Anything else though? Like oh, dad hobbies. Yoga. I don't know. I don't know about yoga. What's your one of yours? Maybe Pilates. I feel like something like to strengthen my core, and just to be like. Be like more mobile. Dude, you're like yeah. the good looking dad at Brick Canvas. Like, I mean, <laughs> no, like, I I, there's nothing better. You know, like, you, you've the thought about oyster, this. Right? You've thought you thought about like, this. Some freaking child. Like, that, I think that's that's doable. Brick it's doable. You know. So what about like, what's your favorite? Is, is there anything that makes you like most excited about like, oh, when I'm a dad, like, as far as like being well, a dad, not like the activity, but just like being a dad. I can't I just, wait to do this. Well, I think about the kids. Like, yeah, I figure it's gonna be that. so fun to have little kids running so around. Yeah. Playing football with them, like, I don't know. Do you like babies? Having a kid. Do you um, like toddlers, like, like one, two? Do okay. I like them? Yeah. Like that one to two age. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would I would more, like, I feel like I'm going to enjoy the older, like a little bit older, but, like, yeah. when they're toddlers, it'll be it'll be a blast. Yeah. See, I wish I could just, like, skip to five. That's actually, yeah, now that I think about it, like, <laughs> that's the age guy. where they just cry, right? Yeah, yeah just, like, they I don't can't know. We'll go see. to the bathroom We'll see themselves. when the moment comes, and I have, Dude, I'll probably be thinking different then. The moment I'm dreading is when I have to take my, like, newborn on a plane. Like, yeah, I'm, like, so stressed Sorry. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I, was on a, I was on a plane back from Greece, and I'm not kidding, this baby was oh, right yeah. in front of me, just... Poor kid. Yeah. Poor kid. The ears weren't popping. He was, <laughs> dude, he was not having it. I wasn't having it. Like, I was, oh, like, yeah. pacing the hall. I was just miserable. Oh, so, yeah. Honestly, shout out. Shout out to all the moms out there that have yeah. newborns that are crying on a plane because tough gig, tough gig. <laughs> those are, Never thought about that. Those are, the, those are the heroes of the world. I don't know if you'll be driving. Will you be flying your kid to Greece, though? Oh, no, no, no. We are we're simply to Southern California and back. Okay. We'll keep it light 45 minutes. There you go. Um, 
Dude, I think I, I like golf though. Golf yeah, and I think Pilates. That's, that's Pilates. Go think yeah. about. It. <laughs> He's the Pilates. That was that. Were those your two? <laughs> no, dude. I think I want to get in. I think trail running is kind of cool. Okay. I need to do cardio. Yeah. Otherwise, I will get I will get overweight. So. Nope. I've already decided. I when I'm done playing football, I'm never running again. Oh no! Unless way. it's basketball. That's not. Yeah, pickleball. Nope. Pickleball is good. I'll be hooping. Yeah. Pickleball. It's, it's I don't think you'll get. I don't think you'll get fat though. No, like I love then, working like, out. I do, right? But it's yeah, just like I, I just know I'm in my best shape when I'm when I'm running. I'm doing some cardio, so. I don't run. I think that could be cool. I think obviously like, you know, fishing, fishing, hunting. Mm-hmm. I think CrossFit. I think CrossFit is cool. There you go. Low key. I could see. That, that's it's a hot like take though. That's a hot take. I know yeah, that's, people, a whole, that's a you, people, that's a whole lifestyle. I know th- I, they are a little over the top with it. It's you don't okay, do though. you don't do CrossFit on the side. You you are a CrossFit. <laughs> that is start, true. You join that cult. You're yeah. like Oh, you you have to post on Instagram. You're in you it. Have, you have to post the workout of the day. Yeah. They they, they are the most fit people on the planet. Though. They look so good. What about a yeah, how's, how's your uh, polar plunge? Are you, you bringing out the you bringing out the plunger? Yeah, I was actually just looking at that today. It's about time to fill it back up. About it's, time. It's that time where it'll get cold enough again to where I don't gotta like in the summer. It's like it doesn't get cold enough to make it worth make it. Make it worth so it. That's true. So yeah, I gotta get back into it. it. Helps me sleep. But now uh, speaking of getting cold, all right. Well, we we talked about October. What's your top three activities in the month of October? Like okay. we can talk about, like it's spooky okay. season. Like guys, get get with the program, all right? Yeah, yeah. You gotta you gotta go <laughs> up the canyon. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're we're, we're 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 showing people. You know, we are. We got yeah, some depth, right? Some yeah, of our we're not some of our viewers players. aren't from Utah, so they don't understand the canyon. So talk to oh, us. Like, what's the what's the draw Dude. to going up the canyon? It is beautiful. Like the leaves right now. Ridiculous! Like you got to take a drive up the canyon. Maybe bring a hammock. Yes, like Alpine Loop or yeah, yeah, whatever. Just go <laughs> up there. Uh, that's beautiful. Got to hit that for sure in October. Um, you got to carve pumpkins. Yes. <laughs> you a like pumpkin a carver? I'm not like a no. Like I'm not good. But I'll but do. But you it. enjoy you it like when it, it comes yeah, around. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You it's a great night. <laughs> yeah, that's a great night. Yeah, you got a car pumpkin. Scooping out the guts. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. the best part. Yeah, I actually don't mind that. A lot of people oh, yeah. hate that. Yeah. But I'll get you my know, hand you're right. Like in you're in on there. Pinterest trying to find what you know. What are we gonna put on? Yeah, this time? exactly. Uh, it's always fun. BYU, it's a whatever. <laughs> yeah, football. Um, so that's two. You want one more? One more little activity. Let's go one more. Are you a are you a haunted house? Haunted house. I don't think I went to one last year. But I do want to hit one this year. I just haven't heard cool. like any ones that like are actually scary. Like I want to be scared, right? Dude, have you been to Asylum Forty Nine? I, you know, I've heard about that one. I haven't been. Could be. I, have I you like been? It. I grew up going to it, and it's okay. fun. But like growing up, is that like when you were like a little freshman well, in high, high school? school? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Know, it's like, like I'm trying to chase nostalgia. <laughs> like my freshman year of high school, this was so sick. Like, like will like, we actually like if we go next week? Like, will we be scared and like freaking um, out? Yeah, like would it be a good time? I think? went with Braden Kime last year, and it's fun. Like, it was fun. Okay. So there's like a group. Like if you go with like a group of like boys and girls, then it's they'll take the boys. Like the worker men will come out and like okay. put you in a headlock and like drag you in so the girls <laughs> will have to go alone gotcha so it's kind of fun yeah, it's, um, yeah okay and they can touch you can so it. it's a little bit more exciting but love it yeah i'm down yeah. let's do it Lit. let's let's hit it let's group day next week or yeah let's do it, it. <laughs> i might have to sit that one out um, i'm not a, i'm not a spooky. you're not a big uh, adrenaline junkie like that no i am just not a spooky guy <laughs> i don't mess with people touching me i don't like people touching me so no, what makes me laugh too is like the guys who like pay for the haunted house and then they act all tough in there. They're like barking back at the workers. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you paid, you paid to get scared. Like, don't act all tough in front of your girlfriend. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Get scared. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, no, that's good. Let's hit it. So, um, I have a bone to pick. I don't know if it's with you or whatnot, but last time we ripped a podcast, we talked about uh, Crumble. Oh yeah. What. Something came out of that for you. Yeah, no, it actually did. So <laughs> so I reached out. There's a, the owner of the Provo Crumble. Yeah. And he, we got in contact. We went out to lunch. <laughs> and we started, uh, you know, chatting it up and ended with, like, a, a free a free box of, of cookies every week. So he gives me these little cards, little four-packs. So I've been – it's been hard, like, during the football season. I've kind of stopped going. Yeah. But – all summer, dude. I hit every week. Dude, yeah, I had a I had a Amazing. box of crumble. It was how awesome is that? Oh, I loved it. 
Were you ripping all four cookies or were you donating? I was, no, I was donating. Yeah. yeah. Did you no, try? I tried all four, okay. of course. Good. Like I had a, yeah. Yeah. I had a fourth, maybe a half of each, <laughs> but <laughs> no, it was, yeah, it was a good time. Well, I could put I, down a four, a four pack. Really? All four There's no them. way. I give Kimberly, well, I, I'm always like, hey, like have some of this. Like this one's good. This one's good. <laughs> She'll then, take like, a little she'll sliver. Take, like a little like maybe a an eighth or a sixteenth of like <laughs> two of them. She's like, ah, that one doesn't look good. I'll try this one and I'll try this one. Tries two of them and then I eat the rest. And it's like, okay, yeah, no, I yeah. And yeah, whatever I don't eat that night, I eat in the morning for breakfast. Usually it's like a Saturday night, and then Sunday morning as I'm running out the door for church, I like, oh, there's yeah. a cookie there, and I just put it down. So you can't just let it sit. Like Mm-mm. it's gonna go to waste. Yeah, oh. no, you gotta no, eat. You, it's disrespectful. Have, the disrespectful. thing is, I have roommates that. If anything's on the table, like it's gone the next day. So if whatever I don't eat is gonna be gone the next day. Just that's how my roommates are. So well, Mikey Petty, come on, Mikey buddy. Petty. come on, yeah, come on <laughs> Tanner Wall, come on. <laughs> eat yeah, what's yours. You boss. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, I love it. It's, yeah, it's for the boys. Have yeah, you, you had a good house? Did yeah, your, it's, been, it's been fun. Did your favorite flavor change? It's it's different every yeah every week. It's yeah. Give me I like love. a if I say favorite flavor, what comes to the head? There's like this Buckeye brownie. It's like peanut butter with chocolate, oh, okay. just I like those exactly chocolate ones. Chocolate. Sometimes are just so good, like the brownie mm-hmm. type. And then there's the cheesecakes. All cheese the cheesecakes are, are just oh ridiculous. You can't beat the cheesecakes in so my opinion. That cream cheese frosting is just yeah. You but can put that on anything. It yeah, it's good. true. And then sometimes these fruity ones just like hit different. Yeah, like, like these, the one you the at cobbler least expect. one. Like oh, yeah. yeah. Or like the lemon, like sometimes like lemon ones. Anyways, so I got a question. Go so so, if Chase Roberts had a day all to himself, what would you put in that day? You got unlimited money. You can kind of do whatever Ooh. you want. Unlimited money changes a lot. Yeah, like you have the unlimited funds to do whatever you want that day. What are you doing? Oh. You got about sixteen hours. Six a.m. <laughs> to ten p.m. Six a.m. I don't know if I'm waking up that early. Like, if you had this up. type of day, you would. That's true. Yes. You With know all I mean? the money in the world, I have to spend it all that day. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you, you don't get taken any the next day. Bro. That's that's a good one. I think I'd I'd book a flight right off the bat. Okay. Yeah. You're getting mobile. Yeah, I'd book a flight. If I had that money, like of course. private go, though, right? Private. A private jet. A helicopter something. Yeah, point. invite some a helicopter. Invite <laughs> some homies and like like I'd get people together and like pay for like a big trip. Somewhere and yeah, all to myself. Yeah, or would it have to be just me? No, you can. You got. Money. I can want. invite homies. Yeah. When so. you have money, you always have friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> what <they say. laughs> yeah I guess. That's so true. Um, but yeah, I'd invite the homies. We'd go to wherever. Um, not so, somewhere not too far. Actually, a private jet would be. F- like you could yeah. spend some time on that. Go wherever like, you want. We can elongate this day. <laughs> yeah, we can a little longer. longer. Okay, yeah, let's go to Hawaii. We go to Hawaii and yes. chill on the beach. We'd, we'd have a good time and uh, play some football, go run some routes. Um, That's in your That's day. I like, just haven't – I love the beach. Like, when I think of, like, me time and just chill, like, living, it's beach, good sun, day. football, food, really good food, like, seafood, steak. Um, I'd probably invite my family, too, just to have them there. I love my family. And then – yeah, just talking. So basically, the Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the exactly. Of July. Yeah, Some fireworks at the end, the just to end it off. No, um, but that's what I. Yeah, that's. I just love living and chilling. And if I had a day like that, yeah, it would be travel, get out of here, and get somewhere warm. Nice. I love the warm. You. Uh, so, is Hawaii your? That's kind of. I mean, we go there as a family, like. That's the one warm place. When I think of warm beach, like I think of Hawaii. Yeah. Just because we go there as a family um, quite a bit. But so, so you're I a love beach guy tr- over mountain? Like, yeah. There okay. we go. Yeah. What are you talking about? But I love the mountains too. Like, don't get me wrong. I love what do you do in there. the mountains? Um, honestly, I'm not a big, like, snow sports yeah. guy. Uh, if I would go to the mountains, like, it would be to hike, like, fish, like, do something – just along just those align lines, your chakras, basically. just kind of chill. Yeah, <laughs> align your chakras. You yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I feel that. I'm in my ski fit today. This is <laughs> yeah, there you I'm go. embracing my Salt Lake granola. I know you're a skier. Cause, yeah, I've seen some some sweet bits. Of, stop, yeah. What's just aligning just looking looking up up your chakras? <laughs> what's aligning your chakras? <laughs> I actually never heard that. So I honestly, I use. He's that. He's the only I person use, I've ever heard. I use that term ex- 
loosely. I throw it around a lot, and I'm not yeah. exactly sure what it means. <laughs> 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 I just know it's kind of like just like kind of like finding some inner peace, you know, just going up there, resetting. Right. Yes. Talking, you know, meditate. Yeah, what Kalani no, was talking place. about earlier. Taking your shoes off, letting your feet, your bare feet hit the, the earth. Exactly. Okay. It's like foot yeah. zone. I mean, we'll have to Urban Dictionary that one, but yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's good vibes. Good vibes is all I'm saying. Love so. it. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 cool. Hawaii, yeah. Hawaii would be lit with the, with the boys. Just Hawaii I mean, with the boys. That's a good vibe. Some pina, some pina colada, little virgin pina colada. Have to virgin. It's pina a must. There we go. <laughs> that's that's an absolute must. Dude, I got a question for you. Do you watch? Um, have you seen? Did you see that Pat McAfee thing? The LDS Thursday thing. I did with Kyle Van Noy. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Dude, what the Love heck? It. We need to get Chase Roberts on. Yeah, the let's LDS go. Thursday. All three of us. I bet Pat McAfee's scared. Pat, he needs to come to a game. He, he, he he's does. always talking there about atmosphere. Is. He's talking you about know. prime time. Yeah. Colorado. Come on. He's wasting his time. He needs to come out of BYU. That's right. You're going to have LDS Thursday. You got to take a visit. That's true. true. If you're going to have an LDS Thursday, that's like a it's a weekly thing. Like, you got to come to to BYU and, and get the full experience. Talk to the boys. <laughs> yeah. You know, get the Dude, his highlights are kind of raw for being a punter kicker. Yeah. Have you seen them? Have you seen them? I haven't. No, I'll have to go <laughs> oh, and check them out. Yeah. <laughs> he's okay. like, he's I knew he was a punter. And he's no joke. Stud, yeah. but. Tell you what, though, that's something I should have done a long time ago is developed, a a, maybe not necessarily a punter, but some sort of special teams. I'm thinking I should have developed the ability to be a long snapper. Mm-hmm. Think about this. You're like a mediocre receiver or safety or whatever you are. Oh, by the way, I can long snap. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So it's like, just another asset. We'll yeah. we'll take this dude because like, I don't want to have to waste a roster spot on a long snapper, but like he can be a long snapper and also a backup receiver. Yeah, bro, that's true. I never I'm thought about that. Kalani was like a he fullback. Was. Yeah, he was Kalani was a fullback. You know, and then the fact that he was able to long snap kept him on a roster. See, I'm legit thinking this summer I'm gonna learn how to long snap. Yeah, do it. I'm legit. Like I'm legit about that. Yeah, that's actually really smart. Yeah. Some YouTube tutorials. Yeah, <laughs> well, should, I'll hire a coach. I mean, I'm just, that's an investment Go- right golf, there. Look golf at, coach. Look at the return on that. Snapper coach. Yeah, I think I'd take a golf coach over a snapper coach, but the return just I just the the likelihood of me making the tour. I don't think I'm going <laughs> to get my return on my investment very soon. Uh, I got a lot better chance of being a NFL snap long snapper than I do being a yeah. I golfer. like that. That's yeah, just that's food great. For yeah, yeah. I just need we need to call Pat McAfee out because he's gonna do LDS Thursdays and not even, you know, not, not even acknowledge our boy Chase Roberts that went for one thirty one on six catches. That's or something right. like that. <laughs> that went crazy. That's right. That went crazy. Dude, well, I got a question. So, what are you most excited for uh, the rest of the season? What's like your have you thought into like, oh, I'm really excited for this game, or this dude was talking heat, I can't wait to play him? I mean, every game we have, it's hard because every game coming up is going to be lit. Dude, it's yeah. so like, far. we're going to TCU, we're going to Texas, and like, we have some awesome home games. Right. It's just it's a blessing every week. And that's, I'm trying, I'm trying to just take it day by day. Yeah. To where I feel like if you're so looking in the future of, like, Big 12 championship, like, some, like, right. it gets too much to where, like, whew, like, I don't know, the, just the stress, everything, to where you just take it day by day, I feel like it just calms you down a little more to where, you know, we got a bye week this week, let's enjoy it, you know, let's yeah. practice hard, let's enjoy the bye week, like, not even think about, like, there's, I'm gonna probably take a day where it's just, like, I'm not even going to touch a football. I'm not even going to look at anything. I'm not going to watch the NFL. Like, you know what I mean? Just right. Like, just go play golf. Go reset. Yeah. yeah. Reset the chakras. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> no, dude. There's exactly. It's needed, that. though. Like, well, and and kind of like what you were saying with the whole, like, if you're if all you're thinking about is Big 12 championship or whatever, like Nick Saban was saying, I don't know the exact quote, but he said, um, basically, your end result can be a distraction. Yeah. It's like, you got to focus on, like, the now. If you're worried about, like, if you just do what needs to be done, the end result will take care of exactly. itself. So, no, exactly. Stuff. Talking about bye weeks, what's my guy on this weekend? Dude. Besides our haunted house. <laughs> the haunted house. We're hitting that yep. for sure. I'm going golfing on Thursday. I already set that up. We're at, we're at. I already got the tea time. I'm going to Spanish Oaks with my dad. Beautiful. A couple other, yeah, a couple other homies. Um, and then we're still trying to figure out, Saturday, I guess, 
we'll fill that one of those days up with the with the haunted house. But not not getting mobile, just staying staying home, staying in Utah. Staying in Utah, yeah. I'm not gonna not gonna travel anywhere. My fam's here for sure, so I'll just chill. Um, But yeah, and then like I said, take one of those days just to just relax, relax, dude. Not even think about football. All right, beautiful Chase, love it. Um, Love chopping it up with my guy. Uh, I have another question though. All, right. all your success, I love asking this question. All your success, everything that you've experienced, if you could go back in time and change one thing or change anything, would you? Like to get to where you are today, like is there anything you wish you would have maybe hurried up or done different? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. And I've I've thought about this. And there's obviously days in the moment, like when you go to bed, you're like, bro, I could have done s- like so many things better. Like why did I make that decision? Why didn't I... And a lot, a lot of the, the things that you regret are things that you don't do, right? It's not the things that you do, but it's the things that you miss out on or don't do. But honestly, like, thinking back, that's what motivates you to be better the next day. And, like, I feel like if you don't have those days where you're just not focused or you're lazy, whatever, then it makes – it builds you into the the man you are. And I feel like – yeah, I like – so I wouldn't take anything back – like, obviously, there's days that I wasn't who I wanted to be, but that's what's kind of made me into who I am, you know, looking back and thinking, dang, dude, like, I got to be better. Like, yeah. and then trying the next day to, to be that and having a great day and then trying to stack those up to cool. to where. But there's always ups and downs, and, and that's life, and, and you got to have those, though, to to – be who you want to be and who Heavenly Father wants you to become. So, love that. One percent, one percent, one percent. Yeah, every day. That saying, exactly. So that's inspiring. Um, kind of going along with that. What uh conference this weekend? Yeah, it was awesome. Did you have a favorite talk? A favorite quote? I did. Yeah, I had a favorite talk. What was it? Uh, my favorite. <laughs> The guy on the spot like that. Here we go. <laughs> did he actually watch it? Did he? Yeah, <laughs> no, I, did. I did. There were obviously there's moments where you get tired eyes and you miss a couple of talks, but um, <laughs> no. If there's one person I believe that watched conference. It's, the, it's my boy. <laughs> Randy, okay? I know he watched that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, there was one talk by Elder Iring. Um, he's getting old, like he is. He's he's slowing down. Dude. Slowing down a lot. He's, <laughs> but he's no, he is. his spirit is stronger than ever and. Um, that's what he actually talked about the whole time was the spirit, the Holy ghost. And I feel like that's so relevant in today's world. And what we often don't think about is how can we keep the spirit with us at all times? You know, having that constant companionship of the Holy ghost. And as members of the church, like we get that opportunity to have that. And everyone has their own ways of, of keeping that with them. And we all feel it when we do something wrong, we kind of feel that leave. Right. Right. And it's just that, that striving to keep that with us all times and like having that lead us into making right decisions and into everything we do, whether it's, you know, with our friends, with our family, like during football, while we're playing football, um, I feel like it, it affects your, your decision making and whether you have the, you know, the spirit with you or not. And, uh, that's, that's why I think it was my favorite. It just spoke to me the most and, um, that I need to, to keep focusing on that. I've always having the spirit, uh, and the Holy ghost kind of guiding my life. Dude, so. that's dope. I had a, one of my buddies just got home from his mission, um, and like literally last week, so I hit him up. I was like, "Hey, dude, like, how you doing or whatever?" He's like, "Good." He's like, "He's like, I'm doing." He, he was like, "I'm doing good." And I can't remember. He asked me about like, "How did I'm like, how's the adjustment going?" Right? Mm-hmm. He's like, "Oh, it's going all right." And so I was like, it, "He didn't say it's great, right? It's kind of tough." And I was like, "Bro, I was like, don't worry." I was like, "When I got home, like, randomly for the first like two months." I would just, like, break down crying randomly because I was, like, <laughs> I missed having, like, the spirit with me all the time. Yeah. Like, there's a different feeling when you're a missionary. 
And he's like, yeah, that happened to me today. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. It's true. I was like, hey, bro, what happens? I remember one time I was just hanging out with the camera. I start crying. I'm like, gosh, I'm such an idiot. Like, I feel <laughs> like, I feel so stupid. No, but it's that's like, awesome. It's when you, no, that's, uh, it's, it's a gift for sure. It is. So that's good. Did you have a favorite moment from uh, conference? Um, I did, but I'll, we'll, we'll circle back for sure. Uh, for yeah. sure. I just need, I, I, I need to touch up on it though. Absolutely. But That's so cool. Sunday morning was beautiful. I was yeah. The nieces holding the nephews. Okay. Just, family you know, time. Went Funkle mode. You know, I had to, I right? had to be the favorite uncle. Right? It's just, it's a must. So do you guys have any, uh, uh, conference like traditions or anything? Um, so we used to, I mean, when all the kids are young, like everyone's older now in my family to oh. where we don't really get together anymore, but we'd. We'd, uh, yeah, so we don't really do anything anymore, but we got the, we still got the family together. Yeah. Some cousins came down from, from California. They actually live here now, but, um, just chilling, taking a walk and, yeah. um, being together. Uh, we used to do a lot of other fun stuff. Like we were That's little, dope. but, That's dope. um, no really crazy traditions anymore. Just kind of being together. That's awesome. I'm a cinnamon roll guy. Cinnamon rolls. We actually did have those. Okay. There the you morning. go. There you go. Yeah, you gotta have this. The conference cinnamon rolls are a must. What about egg casserole, boys? Uh, no, I know. I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Just you. <laughs> I don't mind an egg casserole if it's the right one. Yeah. It depends. A little quiche? Is that what they call that? No, it's like, no, actually, I know what you're talking about. I haven't had that in a while, though. It's like, yeah, it's like, a, but it's it's good. like a bunch of eggs in like a little pan or whatever. Like, you throw some other stuff in there. It's a little sausage. Sausage. Yeah. A little spinach. It's good. Maybe no, it's good. No, it's just a little hands-off meal. You know, you throw yeah. it in the oven, you got nothing to do. Pop it out. And That's fair. That's good fair. to go. Exactly. So, well, dude, thanks for coming on again. Of course. We're it's excited. It's, it's fun to uh, chop it up with the uh, boys. It's always just so good to be with the homies. <laughs> it really is. And you've been tearing it up this year. Thank so you. It keep Appreciate it up. Appreciate it. I know you've got, like, obviously a huge fan base, so... We were like, we were trying to decide, we're like, who do we have on this week? We're like, Chase. Chase has been killing it. Like, <laughs> he's had a bunch a of big fan. games. I'm a fan. My wife was waiting for me to come out of the locker room uh, after the game, and she and she was telling me this, like, later that night. She's like, you wouldn't believe it. I'm like, what's up? She's like, she's telling this story, and she's like, <laughs> I'm waiting for you, and all of a sudden, I hear, like, all this screaming, and so I look over, and... She's like, I kid you not, it's Chase Roberts walking out of the locker room <laughs> and a whole section of girls screaming <laughs> for Chase. I was like, <laughs> I'm not even surprised. <laughs> so, we all use Poster Boy right here. No, no, stud, just, man. They're a bunch of little. We're just talking. There's no, be- <laughs> there's no better guy that deserves a spotlight, though, dude. Such, a, such a core, that. good guy, bro. Down to earth. Appreciate that. So, dude, got nothing but love and respect. I know the crew feels the same way, so. For sure. Dude, all the success that's coming your way, bro, you deserve it. So, Thanks, dude, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited for you, bro. Yeah. Shit. Sky's the limit. Keep it up. But yeah. You guys, thank you. All righty. <laughs> Exit song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>